Good morning everybody, Orin Jay here with another War of the Visions video and today I want to do a little video talking about raids, talking about how new players can like still really benefit from doing this raid and I want to look at some really cool team comps that are killing the uh, level 100 raid on auto that are not using Oberon, they're like getting around the, yo, Oberon's the only guy that can do it, some other elements, all that stuff. We're going to do a really fun raid video right now. Okay, now first up, what I wanted to say is like, I do think raids are for everybody. Don't get, like, don't get your uh, feelings down, right? If you don't have Oberon or if you're a new player and you don't think you can like grind this raid out to 100. I want to tell you guys that like, there is something for everybody in this raid, even if, right? Even if you're not building the newest plus five piece of gear. Check out Baby J's account here for an example. One thing Baby J can benefit from is one plus zero platinum rope. So I'm going to buy a recipe right here, right? I have some raid medals. I'm going to buy this recipe. Boom. And then I've spent some of my other raid medals uh, buying some materials so I can craft a plus zero plat rope. Let me just show you what that's like real quick. Now, I want, keep in mind, I want a defense variant, variant right? I want the shield plat rope here. So I'm going to go to crafting. I'm going to go to plat rope. And I have exactly enough materials to craft this thing, right? That's because I went and bought them from the raid shop. I'm going to hit craft. There's no guarantee here that I will get the shield version. And that's the only one I want. So I'm going to craft it real quick. I'm going to back out of crafting and I'm going to see if I got lucky. Plat robe, I got vital. That's not what I want. So let me show you what to do if you get the, the like version of a plus zero piece of gear you don't want. You hit dismantle. You click on this. You click dismantle. And then boom, you dismantle it. You will not get the recipe back, but you get all of the materials used to craft that plus zero back. And now, all I gotta do if I wanna try again, head back into the Mog Shop, spend another 2,000 raid medals to get another recipe, and like, you just have to not get unlucky 99 times, right? If you maybe need to farm 2,000 more, but anyway, this is a really easy way to um, power up your account, because a plus zero UR piece of gear is still really, really dang good. Uh, like for, for this account, for example, for my Valentine's Day Salir, a plus zero platinum robe, platinum robe will be the best piece of gear she has access to that I can currently level up. So there, I wanted to start the video with that little shout out. Now, the fun, the funnest part of this video, in my opinion, is going to be um, these alternative strategies to clearing the level 100 raid. First up, Madlax, somebody from my Discord who, you notice my voice cracked right there? That was kind of weird. Um, sent this video in of a duo ice tea, Medina and Orin. Check out this comp right here and watch this comp battling level 100 I guy on, on auto. Because like, honestly, if you're not doing it on auto, if you're min-maxing manually, sure, there's a ton of teams that can do it. But if you're clever enough, you can use units like Medina and Orin, who by the way, Madlax uses to clear like a ton of these in-game raids all the time. Now look, auto. Medina walks out there, cleans up the ads real quick, hits the boss once the boss comes over, hits him back for like almost nothing, and now it's time to just ice chain this dude down. Watch this, like there's Orin, here's Medina, 7,500. I guy on turn, he can't hurt him. Medina charged a spell, Orin gonna drop Banishing Blade again. Medina's dropping her bombs. Like, check this out guys, this is pretty cool. Alright, here, let's fast forward a little bit. We don't need to watch the whole thing. We'll, we'll skip towards the end here. Oh, here comes the, here comes the end of it. Orin drops a Banishing Blade. Medina bangs him with her staff with the auto attack. And with five turns left, Medina and Orin took down a level 100 I guy on. So, if you can do it with Medina and Orin, you can duo it with a lot of UR units if you got them leveled. Next up, let's look at Star Wolf's video right here. Star Wolf has sent us a video, and this is a, I will call this like an Earth Element Slash Chaining comp. Now, this boss is weak to Piercing, and it's Lightning Element, so it's weak to Earth. You don't have to use both of its weaknesses to kill it. You can use something like Star Wolf's comp right here. Prince Mott right? Ketone, you are Zazan, and Halloween Frederica. It's really cool, in my opinion, to see Halloween Frederica get her first exposure to some in-game PvE content, and she can, she's wrecking this thing. If you got Halloween Fred, you're in a good place for this raid. Now, let's watch how Star Wolf sets this up. 
Notice he uses clever positioning early to like group his team, get the enemy to come at him in a group so the first AoE can beat him down. Then, by turning certain skills on and off, notably Ketone, using her chaining skill, he's building a massive slashing chain. Look at that, that's an 11 chain on an auto. Here comes Prince Mott, he hits him, that's 12 times chain on an auto fighting team. Like, he is demolishing this boss. You are Zazan's a god. He's going to start the chain up again. Here comes Ketone. Dream within a dream. Chain's already back to five. There's electromagnetic explosion. Whatever. This boss is totally dead. Here it comes. He goes down. And that was a pretty cool team. Now, that was a four-man squad. We're not going to watch Asmongold's reaction to Shadowlands. We're going to go on to an even better one, I think. This is from Zugrin. And check out this team. What? We're not watching Asmongold video? Get out of here, Asmongold. You interrupted my video. I'll totally forget to edit that out of the final version of this. Anyway, check this one out. This one is an Eileen feature, right? It's Earth Piercing, but it's really just piercing in general. We have an MR unit, Lorenzo. We have an SR unit in Murmur. We have Glassy, and we have the goddess herself, Eileen. Now, he's going to go through and show off a little bit here. Um, we're going to skip past that and just go to the fight. Notice, like, these units, what a lot of them have, including Glassy and Murmur, is they have Pierce Chaining Attacks. Glacella has a multi-hit piercing attack. Murmur has a multi-hit piercing attack. Um, resistance Break. This is something that a lot of, like, people who you might not think are piercing units have. I believe it's on Red Mage. It is a two-hit piercing attack that is also on Element. So, Murmur, a really good option for this fight. Okay, here come the mobs. They're grouping up, whatever. They're hitting. These are Earth units. They're not worried about this lightning element damage. Glassy uses the Armor Piercer. That's a Vision card ability. Takes down the adds. Eileen walks up there. Maximum damage already. Like, Eileen wrecks this boss. Just like she wrecks everything. Now, check it out. There it is. Defense Destroyer. Double hit. Defense and Spirit down. Lorenzo's gonna jump. He's an Earth Piercer. Glassy's gonna walk over. Use her Triple Piercing Attack build up that piercing chain there's the jump here comes eileen 15,000 almost damage again there's 10 turns left come on you can do it you can do it lorenzo take to the sky he does glassy gonna start it off with a triple piercer it's better for the chain if she goes first so the earth elements can chain later there's eileen maximum damage again here's the double pierce from murmur murmur just did 15,000 damage you guys that's an sr unit on a level 100 raid boss dropping 1500 damage there's the summon five turns left can they do it lorenzo jumps in the sky eileen says i just hit him for max damage it doesn't matter let murmur finish him off she stabs him 1400 damage gg he's dead and gg that is the fight so there we go that's just mostly kind of a fun video thank you guys for sending in some videos i really liked watching those that murmur damage caught me completely off guard and that's just kind of like a, I feel like those videos were just sort of a good primer on if you're clever about skills on and off, about getting your units to position right, you can beat these raids by yourself if you have a like robust enough lineup. Even if you have Medina and Orin, apparently you can do it, which that one caught me off guard the most. All right, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and have a good day. Have a great weekend, everybody. I'll catch you next time. Peace.